hi guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i am going to be teaching you how to do this particular collage trend using the canva app in the last video i taught you how to use the InShot app to edit this particular trend but canva is a bit simpler all you just need is good network and you need to be using canva pro in or if you, you're not using canva pro, pro you're using the free canva you need to remove your background from remove.bg.com but if you're using canva pro let's go right into my laptop and I'm going to show you how you can create this trend in minutes using the Canva app. <laughs> same collage trend with canva and it's pretty easy if you're using canva pro because you need remove the bg so this is how i did it but i want to show you i'm going to show you how to create it from the very beginning but i want to show you what i did so for this this is the beginning from i just picked a picture from canva of this but you i now duplicated it and then this is the next picture i want to show so I have to put a picture of this on top of it and had a cutout, like remove the background and it becomes a cutout. It's currently locked. Then it's this the result and then put the next image on top of it again. And then there's the result and then put the next image on top of this again. And then there's the result. But let me show you how we can do it and like from scratch so i'm going to this is my canva we're going to come to create a design as it take it to look my network is amazing so instagram reel because you want to use it instagram reel is the same size as tiktok so i'm going to be using photos but i'm going to be using most of the ones that i've already used before so i'll show you so let me start with the um balloons again and one thing you want to do is you want to set image as background. That's the first thing you want to do. So I'm going to come here again and duplicate page. The next one is the ship. So I'm going to put the ship on it. And one thing I'm going to do is because I want the ship to be the next one. I'm going to like expand, then click on the ship design and click on edit image. I use Canva Pro. So I'm going to use BG Remover to remove the background. BG means background remover. So it's going to like my network is not making it fast but yeah it's going to remove the background um one thing i want you to note is um i want to like zoom in on this like make sure because when i make the ship like i want to be able to like zoom in on it which is what i'm doing here i'm going to lock it now for the next image i'm going to bring the ship and i'm going to set image as background yeah so let's keep doing now i'm going to come here again and duplicate page because this is what i wanted to show after it comes from here okay yeah it comes from here this is why i locked it because this um bg most times because of the network it doesn't stay so if i don't lock it it's going to like show as the normal image but well, because it's locked it won't show like that okay so for this one i'm going to use this next girl image so i'm going to like expand it a little bit and i'm going to come to edit image and remove background my network is crazy but it's very slow but i hope you are having check your network connection i know done that and i'm going to lock it also and come here to the next one and click on the girl image and also set image as background okay then like i said again you want to duplicate that same one and i'm going to come on here i think the next one i used was let me use this lady now i'm going to click on edit image and remove background so wait for it to remove again i'm going to we're still going to do the timing and um if you want transitioning but i don't think you want to use transitioning for this trend so i'm going to extend this one forward and lock it also come to this next image and click on this lady again and set image as background you want to also duplicate one more time and then let's use um this flower so i'm going to edit this image and remove background also <laughs> yay it's it's actually becoming faster when i first did the first tutorial it didn't work well i'm going to lock it 
and come back here and make this image the background so if you want to do it you can keep it going but i wanted to now show you now you see it's very long so i'm going to now time it so for timing i'm going to turn all of them to 1.0 seconds every single one of them I'm, not, I'm going to apply to all pages. Everything in one of them becomes one page. But for every part that there is a cutout, I'm going to turn it to 0 0.5 seconds. Okay? So I'm going to do that manually and turn them to 0 0.5 seconds. I'm going to go for every page, there is a cutout, 0 0.5 seconds. Okay? Mm, I think this one, yeah. So make it... 0 0.5 seconds all right now let's watch how it's going to be see all right so if you want to make any changes like okay maybe the one point one second is too long we can make it 0 0.8 let's see what will happen if we make all this 0 0.8 0 0.8 okay um make this 0 0.8 make this 0 0.8 make this 0 0.8 okay um if you want to add transitions add transitions but for this i think you don't need any transition so um let's play it's now six seconds yeah it's faster yeah and that's how you now download if you want to like download it you download it as an mp4 um yeah mp4 is high quality video all pages and then you click download and there you go i hope you enjoyed this so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you learned a lot and I hope you can jump on the collage trends using Canva. If you missed out on the very first one, you can go watch the previous video linked somewhere here. I don't always get where it's linked, but it's linked somewhere here on how you can use InShots to film it. The next one I'm going to be doing is how you can use CapCut to also film this particular trend using your phone. All right, guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video. Bye!